Monday night, we left her on a 200-mile road march with the new tanks. We didn't have any sleep from Sunday night to Wednesday night. We were on the road with the tanks all of that time. It was hell. Sergeant Horace Barrett, 709th Tank Battalion. It means walking eight miles, 24-mile marches, 100-mile marches. You had the discipline of water. That's all the water you got between 8 in the morning and, and, and 11 at night when you stop. That amount of water. <laughs> That's all the water. I mean, that meant to be and everything. One of Patton's most well-known quotes was that the, uh, the California desert could kill quicker than the enemy. And uh, we'll lose a lot of men to heat, but it'll save hundreds of lives when we get into combat. You know, you've got to sort of lay the groundwork in places like this for an army that's, that's going to function. It's not just learning the mechanics. It's learning how to be a soldier, how to think like a soldier, but while still retaining those sort of civilian characteristics that are going to make, I think, the American forces extremely successful in World War II. Somewhere in the California desert, American armored troops are training. One sees a small cloud on the fringe of the desert. It sweeps by and beyond, crunching everything in its path. It is this force that will someday leave death in its wake in the sandy places of Libya or wherever it may be sent. Yank Magazine, December 23rd, 1942.